Welcome back everyone. How are you guys doing? So I haven't done much on the CR250 project for a few weeks now and I was really starting to miss it. I was on vacation in Japan for a few weeks. I had a really good time, but now I'm back obviously and it is time to get busting on this project again. So what I've got going on today is I'll be cleaning up some aluminum parts on this bench grinder back here. Now the grinder has a scotch bright wheel mounted on it and the scotch bright wheel works amazing for brightening up aluminum. Before I get started on today's video though, I need to pick a winner for the giveaway on the sprocket a few weeks back. So let's get that taken care of right now. All right, here's that sprocket I was referring to. So I had posted up this picture on Instagram and to enter the giveaway, all you had to do was post the comment on that picture. It's gonna go through and load up all the comments and just pick a random one. I've got all the comments loaded up. Now I'm just gonna scroll up and down the page a few times and whatever comment the mouse lands on, you are the winner. Give this a few more scrolls and let it drop. All right, here we go. Right there. We have Nick up DeGraff 43. Hey, you are the winner. I'll shoot you a DM and get your shipping address. This is what I've got going on. A bunch of aluminum pieces and over here on the bench grinder, I've got the same scotch bright wheel that I've shown in a few of my previous videos. I'm gonna fire this thing up and see what we can do. I'll be starting with this flower cover here. It is looking pretty worn out, but the scotch bright wheel should freshen it right up. So you'll want to work in the same direction on the cover, that way you end up with a consistent finish. To remove some of the scratches, just apply more pressure to the wheel as you're buffing. This will remove most of the surface scratches, anything deeper like a scar, you're going to need something more aggressive for that. I am really happy with how this thing turned out. Still a few small scratches left in it, but this thing is gonna look awesome when mounted on the bike. My goal here is not to have a polished finish. I just want a nice clean finish that's easy to keep up on. After all, it is a dirt bike and I will be riding it quite a bit. I think it is time to shine up some more parts here. Man, these parts are looking super good. Another useful thing for the scotch bright wheels is you can use them to strip off rust and corrosion off of axles. Now obviously these are plated and that scotch bright is gonna strip that plating off, but if you keep these axles greased, that should not be an issue. I'm actually really surprised how well that wheel worked on these axles. 
cleaned up the rust and corrosion like it was nothing. For you guys looking to clean up your own bikes, you can find these scotch Brite wheels over on my website. It'll be the first link down in the description. And this is the same wheel I use to clean up frames by hand. I posted a video a few weeks back on how to do that. So click over that frame cleaning video for more info. So I will be giving away one of these scotch Brite wheels for one of you to try out. All you have to do is write down in the comments below what bike you ride and I'll go through and pick a random comment and send this scotch pad over to you. What I'd like to figure out in a future video is how to brighten up parts with tight crevices like this right here. So I think using a little scotch Brite wheel on a Dremel tool will do the trick. I'd like to brighten up these parts here along with some engine parts such as the cases, cylinder, and clutch cover. Thank you so much for watching guys. I am really excited to get back in the groove and start pumping out a ton of videos for you all. I'll see you later.